Graph of Motion (PSSM Mathematics Form for page 193 to 194). Self Practice 7.1c. Activity: The Distant Time Graph shows the time taken by the two best participants in the 100m event during the Sport Championship of SMK Sina Harapan. Graph OE represent results run, and Graph OABC represent Jeffrey's run. AB represent the time elapsed before Jeffrey continued his run after a fall. Calculate the time lost in second by Jeffrey in the competition. So the time loss is. 九减六，所以得到三 second. B. Did Jeffrey have the chance to become the champion in the 100 meter event if he did not fall down and manage to maintain his speed for the whole run? Justify your answer. Jeffrey 要 maintain 他的 speed for the whole run. Speed 就等于 distance per time， 就等于 gradient of O A。就等于五十得六。所以我们要算出来它的时间，也就是在一百米的里面，它用了多长的时间。Time per distance per speed， 总共就是一百米的 speed 呢，就是五十得六。所以它需要用十二 second 来完成一百米的。然后呢，它用的时间由于是十二 second。之前它是用十六 second，result 呢是用十四 second， 所以十二 second 比十四 second 还要短两 second， 所以 Jeffrey have the chance to become the champion in the 100 meter event。所以答案是 Yes，Jeffrey will finish the race in 12 second。第二题 ，The incomplete distance time graph。So in j a k e Jumali's journey for a distance of 100。A. It is given that the rate of change in distance for the first 60 km is 72 km per hour. Calculate the value of T1. So, it is this part. Rate of change in distance 就等于 distance per time. Distance per time 就是 gradient. 所以 rate of change in distance 它已经给我们了，是72 km per hour， 所以放72。distance 呢，这里是60这里也写60所以是60 time 呢，这里是 T E， 可是这里是 minute， 那这里给的是 hour， 所以我们的 time 要除60所以 T E 等于50好 ，B if i n j e c t to m a l i s car is stationary for 20 minutes。Calculate the value of T2. So, it is in A B this period of time. You can see the distance is not changed. Then it says it is stationary for 20 minutes. And this is T1 to T2 is 20 minutes. So, T2 equals T1 plus 20. T2 equals T1 plus 20. T1 刚才已经算到了是五十，所以五十加二十等于七十。好 ，C. His journey continues from B to its destination with an average speed of 75 km per hour. Complete the distance time graph for the whole journey of Inje Jumali. 所以我们把之前找到的 T1 和 T2 写起来。所以就是五十和七十，然后 average speed 就等于 total distance from B， 从 B 去到它的 destination 的这个 distance， 然后 time from B 也是从 T 二到 destination 的时间，然后 average speed 是七十五 km per hour， 而 distance 呢就是从六十到一百，所以它的 distance 就是四十。所以七十五就等于一百减六十除这
个 t 就是它总共用的时间。哦，这个60就是因为这里是 minute， 这里是 hour， 所以 t 等于32。换句话说，从这里 t 2去到 destination 需要32 minute， 所以我们这里有一个 t 3 t 3呢就是呢七十加上32。所以等于102。所以这里画一个。我们只有32所以这里的距离要比这个大，因为这里的距离是20这里的距离是50所以这里的距离要比这里的距离小，可是要比这个距离大。画上去到100个地方，那从这里画去左边，往这里画下来，然后这个呢一定要比这个斜，为什么呢？因为它 average speed 是七十这里是七十 O A 的 speed 呢，告诉我们是72所以明显这个比这个快，所以这里要比较斜。第 ，If the journey from O start at 9:30 in the morning, calculate the time in j e t j u m a r i a l i v e at his destination. 一百零二 minute， 当然就等于一小时四十二分钟。哦，刚开始是九点半，所以九点半加一小时四十二分钟。就等于一点十二分钟，早上。第三题 ，Inge Jamal goes to b a d a m b a s a with his family. During the return journey to Jitra, they stop at Bukit k a y u h i t a m for a tea break. The distant time graph shows the return journey from b a d a m b a s a to Jitra. 所以这里是 b a d a m b a s a 这里是 Bukit k a y u h i t a m 因为在这段时间他们是休息的，这个 distance 没有改变。最后，这里是 j e t r a A. Calculate the duration in which e n g i n e Jamal's car is stationary. 就是这段时间，所以拿五十五减三十，得到二十五分钟。B. It is given that the average speed for the journey from Padabasa to Bukit Kayu Hitam is 66 km per hour. Determine the value of P. So we need to find the value of P. Or to from Padabasa to Bukit Kayu Hitam, here to here. So to tell us the average speed, it is the total distance from Padabasa to Bukit Kayu Hitam. Total time from Padabasa to Bukit Kayu Hitam. The average speed 告诉我们是六十六。Total distance from Padabasa to Bukit Kayu Hitam， 也就是六十减掉 b， 再除它的 time。Time 这里给我们的是三十，可是这个是 minute， 这里是 hour， 所以要得六十。所以 p 呢就等于六十减六十六乘三十得六十，所以 p 等于二十七。好，第二个 ，calculate the distance between b a d a m b a s a and Bukit k a y u h i t a m 于是我们要算出这个距离，所以大家拿六十减二十七等于三十三 km。C. If i n j e t j a m a l drive at an average speed of 64.8 km per hour for the return journey from Bukit k a y u h i t a m to Jitra, calculate the value of T. So average speed 又等于 total distance from Bukit Kayu Hitam to Jitra. 除 total time from Bukit Kayu Hitam to Jitra, average speed 已经给我们了六十四点八 kilometer per hour. Distance 呢，就是这里二十七。时间呢，就是 t 减掉五十五，要得六十，因为它是 minute， 这里是 hour. 所以 t 又等于二十七乘六十除六十四点八加五十五，所以 t 等于八十。D calculate the average speed in kilometer per hour for the whole journey. Average speed 又等于 total distance 除 total time， 所以又等于 total distance 是六十 ，total time 呢刚才算到了是八十，要除六十，因为我们要算 kilometer per hour， 这里是 minute。Is hour, so you have to use 60. So we get 45 kilometers per hour. Fifth question: 
The distance time graph saw Mr. Modi journeys by car for a distance of 60 km in 30 minutes. It is given that the rate of change in distance before and after the stationary period are the same. This is before, this is after. Here is stationary period. A. Calculate the value of T. So we label it as P, label it Q, label it R. So the gradient of OP is the gradient of QR. This gradient is the gradient of QR. The gradient of OP is 24 to T. The gradient of QR is 60 to 24 to T. 除三 t 减掉 t 加十，所以二十四和 d 又等于三十六除二 d 减十，又等于十八除 t 减五。然后我们交叉乘，二十四乘 t 减五又等于十八 t， 所以二十四 t 减一百二十等于十八 t， 所以六 t 就等于一百二十 ，t 等于二十。B. Calculate the average speed in km per hour for the whole journey of Mr. Moody. So we put T equal to 20 in. So here is 20, here is 30, here is 60. Average speed is equal to total distance to total time. Total distance is 60. Total time is 60. Then we need to subtract 60 because here is minute, here is hour. 我们得到六十 km per hour. C. Describe the motion of the car after the stationary period. After stationary period, 也就是 QR 这个部分，我们要 describe the motion. 所以我们算出它的 average speed. 所以 average speed 就等于 distance QR 除 time QR. Distance QR. 就是六十减二十四 ，time QR 就是六十减三十。可是呢，我们要用 km per hour hour， 这是 minute， 所以这里要除六十，所以等于七十二 km per hour。所以 the car move with an average speed of seventy two km per hour for a distance of thirty six km in thirty minutes。